I start with the base of a, of a landscape. So I envision one of my photographs and I start with that idea and then I just layer and layer and layer and new ideas on, on, on new ideas on new ideas. Say I'm, I'm walking down the street and you see a cloud line up perfectly with the two palm trees and I'll just want to take a picture of that and I'll take a picture of that and then I'll bring that picture over to printmaking. I would always play hooky from photography class walk through the halls just aimlessly and then Lexi just said whatever you can do take any printmaking class you can and fell in love with it. such bright and vibrant colors is that I know that with my photography it's rare that I will get those experiences. A lot of my photography back home is always like gray neutral landscapes so when I envision it it starts there. ADHD guy, so I'll, I'll start this one print and then I'll stop and have another idea and start on that print. But then I'm still working on this print, so I gotta come back to this print. But then I'm still working on that print. I grew up in a little town called Collingwood, Ontario. During the summer, we would all, all go up to our cottage, and there's not a care in the world when you're there. You don't have to worry about a single thing except for when dinner is. I think of that moment when I'm sitting on the dock with that beer in my hand, and I think of what I could see in that moment, of like the water ripples on the water and the various islands spattered around my view, and I just try and take that and translate it onto the plate. A lot of my photography is really what you see is what you get, but with my printmaking, I can just create whatever I want. Even though the process is painstakingly long, <laughs> you know, it's fun. I, I get a little bit of a workout. I like the moment before I pull my print off the press when I don't know what it looks like. And just being like, what's it gonna be?